In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the images within the Keynote templates. It's fairly simple to switch out the images in the templates. So when an agent sends you images of a property they want to showcase, you can quickly create a unique property showcase video for them while still retaining the original animations and effects. So starting from the top of this template, the main image of the property covers the whole of the slide. So if you're hovering your cursor over, as you can see, some text has appeared which says this image is a placeholder drag a new media file here to replace it. So this means that whatever image you drag onto the slide, it will automatically replace the existing image and fit nicely into the space that it's meant to. So you need to browse to the folder on your computer where the image you want is stored. Okay, so I found the image that I want on my computer. So all I have to do is I just need to left click and drag the image onto the Keynote template and you'll see the green cross has appeared and also hopefully you can see that this image actually has a blue border around it. You can see it appearing and disappearing as I move towards it. But that means that you're working within the placeholder file which is good. So now you're ready just to release and there appears that new image in there fitting nicely into the space that it's supposed to. So you don't have to worry too much about the size of the images being exactly the same since the image that you drag into place will automatically resize to fit the placeholder. If it's a lot smaller or a lot bigger than what was there originally, you might have to make some adjustments. But generally, it should resize fine. Um, okay, so let's now just show you this in another slide. We'll go down to slide two and go to this image. So I've clicked on it. And again, you see this image is a placeholder. So you know you're working with a media placeholder. And I clicked on it to bring up the Edit Mask button. So I've clicked on Edit Mask. And the little hand appears. And I'm moving the image around. And you can see the mask there in the um, like dotted lines. So let's put that back into position. And what you can also do is you can use this slider to zoom in on a particular part of the image that you want. And then if you want, you can move it around again. Okay, I'll put that back to where it was. Make sure everything's fitting properly. And you can always use the edit undo button. And then just click off it once you've finished. There's another thing you can do, which if we click on it again and click edit mask, if you put your cursor over any of these sizing nodes, you see the double arrow appears and that you can just drag on any of these to resize the mask if that's what you want to do. So there's always something you can do to make your new images look really good within the templates. Now in this particular template, there's a dummy Realtors logo here and that appears on pretty much all of the slides in this template. So what you'll want to do is to replace this one with the Realtor's actual logo. And you do that exactly like I've described, um, because again, you click on it and you can see that it is a media placeholder. And you can edit the mask and you can change the size if you want to, so you can make the agent's logo look really nice. And that's basically how you edit images in Keynote when they are media placeholders.